A mission out of this world, NASA launching the Perseverance rover to Mars to look for signs of past and current life on the red planet. Here now is astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Thank you so much for joining us. I asked my own 13-year-old quantum physicist here at home what I should ask you, and so he wanted to know. Um, so the rover is carrying its own four-pound helicopter that's going to try and fly on Mars. Do you think it's going to work? And what signs of life might they find, do you think? So a couple of things. Yeah, it's the first time we're ever going to attempt sort of an airborne vehicle. It's more like a drone style helicopter uh, on another planet. And so just to remind you, this is not just some black box landing on Mars. It's the size of an automobile and it weighs a ton. And then it, all it's clad with all manner of scientific uh, experiments and instruments participate in a international participation. One of them is this helicopter. It's 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 a it's a test of concept. It has some utility. It'll take some pictures, but it's mostly a test of concept. Can we fly in the air of another planet that has less than one percent the atmospheric pressure than we have here on Earth? So those blades have to be going faster. They have to be bigger. The maneuvering is more difficult. So it's a test of concept, but it's a really cool test of concept. Do you think they'll be successful? Uh, I don't see why not. Aerodynamics is something that's been with us for quite some time. Definitely, you know, since the Wright brothers figured out how to fly, uh, we've been thinking about it. We've had powered choppers for most of the 20th century, not from the beginning, of course, but about mid-century, they came in. So it's a mature branch of, of flying physics uh, that's being tested there. Yeah. Now, as for finding alien life, that's the, the holy grail here. There are experiments that will be looking for organic molecules, the history of water and the minerals and the rocks. So, now of course, if life just walked up to the craft and, <laughs> and said hi, that would be, right. you know, yes, that would be evidence of life <laughs> on, on Mars, but that's not the kind of life we're expecting, at least not in this mission. No, that would be really exciting if that happened. Um, they're also going to try and convert carbon dioxide to oxygen. A lot of that has to do with trying to see if life can be sustained there as well. Let me turn you a little bit to SpaceX and this return to Earth that's happening on Sunday, because we were so what is going to be different about it now? Yeah, I don't think much. It's a very sort of blunt way to return to Earth. It's a capsule, and the capsule is moving very fast in orbit basically about five miles per second. And so you have to somehow dissipate that energy. And so when it plunges back through the atmosphere, the heat shields, we think of that as some dangerous point of reentry. Yes, it is dangerous, but it's highly desired because it's the, you're basically aero braking as you return. So that's a very similar thing that happened in the entire Apollo era. And it's gonna, when it gets slow enough, through the atmosphere, then deploys parachutes, and then plunges down into the ocean, in this case, into the Gulf. So the return date, August 2nd, is a little bit contingent. There's a tropical storm bearing down on Florida, and you don't want to land in a storm. That, that, that would be bad. So we, we, we're yeah. monitoring this. If, if it's, that's a problem, they'll stay in orbit a few more times, a, a few more days, and let the storm run its course before they return. Yeah, they want to make sure everything's perfect. We don't have any more time. Thank you so much for coming on and answering our questions. We love to have you. And there's this renewed interest and enthusiasm in space. And it's so and we exciting to watch it. We should all have a quantum physicist in our homes the way you do. <laughs> well, I am very blessed to have a quantum physicist at home. Uh, hopefully, he'll stay for a very long time. We'll see.